Apache Seachannel is a project for data synchronization, supporting 50 plus data sources and destinations. Like MySQL, Presto, PostgreSQL, TIDB, and Elasticsearch. Ctunnel supports Ctunnel engines, Spark, and Flink. Ctunnel uses tags to generate Ctunnel engine, Flink, and Spark code, which supports both streaming and batch data synchronization. Ctunnel open source has two major use cases. High volume and frequency for your big data platform. Bilibili has multi-source data extraction and loading with high frequency, especially regarding data synchronizing between the database and data warehouse every day. Average daily data volume is more than 100 terabytes with over hundreds of billions of data records. Bilibili is using Ctunnel for bulk loading data into ClickHouse. Loading data into ClickHouse can be slow and inefficient. With Ctunnel, data can be loaded into ClickHouse with efficiency. Instead of inserting each line of data, Ctunnel can generate ClickHouse files directly and copy them into the ClickHouse system to make the data insertion process faster. We call it bulk load to the ClickHouse system. Ctunnel can also bulk load data into databases and systems like Hebase. Real-time heterogeneous data synchronization. VIP.com and DD use Ctunnel to synchronize real-time data from various data sources like MySQL log files, Presto, Kafka, Spark, ClickHouse, and Hootie to other data systems covering dozens of clusters. The design goals for Ctunnel are to deliver an easy to use, distributed, a scalable data integration platform that supports ultra large amounts of data with high throughput and high low latency. Various data sources. There are hundreds of data sources, versions are not compatible and new ones are constantly emerging, enterprises often use lots of data systems. Ctunnel integrates multiple data connectors. Using Ctunnel can save time in building implemented connectors. Batch load data and CDC conflicts. To start loading data from one system to another, we need to batch load all the data from one system to another. New data stored in the source data system is loaded into the destination data system with CDC change data capture process. Without Ctunnel, there would have to be two different data processing processes to synchronize data. Ctunnel can process both batch load data and CDC data, and users only need to define the data processing process in Ctunnel once. The technology stack is complex. Users do not write Scala or SQL in Ctunnel. We provide script language and will have UI support in the future. Quality and monitoring. Ctunnel ensures data consistency. Users can roll back to certain points and continue data processing. Difficult to manage and maintain. Managing various data processing jobs is a hard task. We can see different data synchronization processes are separated and stored in various places, which makes these jobs hard to maintain. Ctunnel can not only help users to manage and maintain data synchronization jobs, but also manages data cutting and helps switch between offline batch data synchronization and real-time CDC. 
C-Tunnel now supports 50 plus connectors, including 20 plus data sources, 20 plus types of sinks, and 10 plus types of transforms. Next year, the number of connectors will be up to 150. The C-Tunnel community is active. We doubled the number of supported connectors this year. Supporting data systems like Influx, Iceberg, Mongod, ClickHouse, Doris, Kadu, etc. C-Tunnel supports JSON and many other data transformation. Tools to transform data, and we support using Flink, Spark, and C-Tunnel Engine as data processing engines. C-Tunnel Engine has more efficiency than others when data is not transformed in the synchronization process. C-Tunnel provides low-latency data transformation based on real-time processing or micro-batch processing provided by the C-Tunnel engine and supports source a transform a sync parallelization to improve throughput performance. Yapnil implements distributed snapshot algorithm to PC commit and item.